Let's take a look at probability. Now, probability can be expressed on a probability scale from zero to one. Zero is the event is completely impossible and one means it is 100% definite. If something is a 50-50 chance, like throwing a coin and it landing on heads, then that's an equal chance. So that would be 0 0.5 or one half. As we go to the right, that means the likelihood is increasingly likely. And as we go to the right, going towards zero, that means the uh, probability of it happening is decreasingly likely. So we can express things on this scale. So for example, if we said, what is the probability that it rains um, on one at least one day in December in the UK? Well, that is not 100% certain, but it's pretty close to certain. So you could express that by putting an X on the line close to one. What's the probability of throwing a heads on a coin? Well, that is an equal chance, equal chance of heads or tails. So that would be this point here. Uh, what's the probability of it snowing in August in um, the UK? Well, it's not completely impossible, but it's extremely unlikely. So you put an X somewhere here. So, you know, there's no exact spot for something that is almost impossible or almost certain, you know, just somewhere in this kind of area is probably absolutely fine because you can't put a precise number on the probability of it um, snowing in August in the UK, but it's pretty close to impossible, but not entirely impossible. Now to calculate a probability, all we need to do is work out the number of times or the number of ways an event can occur divided by the uh, number of possible outcomes. Now this might seem a bit of a complicated way of describing it, but it's dead easy when you see it in practice. So let's look at an example. What's the probability of a die landing on an even number? Well, a die can land on a one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six possible outcomes. So that's gonna be out of six. And what's the number of ways the event can occur? Well, how many even numbers are there? Well, this could land on a two, could land on a four, or it could land on a six. So that is therefore a probability of three out of six, and that can be simplified to one out of two. Although an easier way of, of seeing this is the, the numbers are either even or odd, and there's the same number of even or odd, so the probability is one out of two, a half. What's the probability of tossing a coin and it lands on heads? Well, there's only two outcomes, heads or tails. So there's only one way it can land on heads, which is obviously by throwing a head. So one out of two, half. What's the probability of selecting a red card in a pack of cards? Well, the cards are either red or black. So that's one out of the total two colors. In a pack of cards, there are four suits, diamonds, hearts, spades, and clubs. So out of the four suits, how many of them are diamonds? Just the one, so that is one quarter. Uh, a picture card, well, my understanding of a picture card is either the jack, the queen, or the king, not the ace. So in a pack of cards, there are there's a jack and a queen and a king for each suit, and there are four suits. So therefore there's one, two, three times four. So that is 12 cards out of a total number of 52 cards. And this can be simplified to six over 26, which can be simplified again to three out of 13. So the probability is three thirteenths. Don't worry about the picture card or, or even the diamonds. Um, they don't expect you to be experts on uh, decks of cards but uh, you are expected to understand dice and uh, that a coin can land either on heads or tails. With probabilities, probabilities need to add up to one. Um, so if the probability of a striker scoring a penalty is 0 0.8, then what's the probability of him not scoring? Well, what's the difference between 0 0.8 and one? It's 0 0.2. And these add up to one because either he scores or he doesn't score, so 0 0.8 is scoring, so therefore not scoring is 0 0.2. So if the probability of swimming 50 meters in under a minute for a 12 year old is a seventh, what's the probability in over a minute? So in the previous example, we had uh, decimals. So 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 makes one. Here we're dealing in fractions. So if it's one seventh for under a minute, then it's gonna be six sevenths for over a minute. So six sevenths would be the answer here because one seventh plus six sevenths equals seven out of seven, which is one. So 
events happening multiple times. So if the probability of scoring a penalty is 0 0.8, the probability of scoring the second penalty is also 0 0.8. You're not less likely to score the second time, well, unless the question states that the football player might you know, suffer confidence the second time, who knows, anyway. The probability doesn't change. Now, a lot of people are not sure whether to add or uh, multiply these probabilities. Now, remember the probability scale is zero to one where one is certain. And if we add 0 0.8 and 0 0.8, we'd get 1.6. So that's, that's beyond certain, that's impossible. And it doesn't make sense. If the probability is not, if, of a person taking a penalty is, well, it's not guaranteed, well, why would it? Why would the probability increase for scoring twice in a row? It just doesn't make sense. So we need to multiply. So for multiple events, we need to, or events happening multiple times, we multiply. And 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.64. And that makes sense. Surely the probability of scoring two penalties is gonna be less than scoring one penalty. So what's the probability of missing a penalty three times in a row? Well, if scoring a penalty is 0.8, missing is 0.2. So three times in a row is 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2, and 0.2 times 0.2 comes to a total of 0 0.008. So the probability of missing a penalty, if you're just taking one penalty, is relatively low. So therefore two penalties in a row is even lower, three penalties in, in a row is even lower still, which is why this number is substantially lower than just missing one penalty. So remember, for events that are happening multiple times, you need to multiply the probabilities, not add them together.